My name is Chris Kirk, and I'm a physical anthropologist who studies primate adaptations and evolution. Some of my research takes place in West Texas, where I've spent part of the last five years looking for fossil primates. The time period I'm interested in is called the Eocene Epoch, which lasted from about 55 to 34 million years ago. And you might not expect it based on the deserts that you find in West Texas today, but during the Eocene, this area was covered by humid tropical forests. There were also a lot of active volcanoes at this time, so most of the fossils that I find were buried in volcanic sediments deposited by big rivers draining the flanks of these volcanoes. And in these sandstones and mudstones that were laid down by the ancient rivers, you find plenty of mammals and crocs and turtles, as well as impressions of palm leaves. You also find types of land snails that today are only found in tropical forests of Central America. So if you want to imagine the Big Bend region and what it looked like from about 45 to 38 million years ago, you need to think of a volcanic landscape like you find today in parts of Indonesia with lush tropical forests growing on volcanic soils. Now, just like most parts of the tropics today, there were primates that lived in these tropical forests of the Texas Eocene. The most diverse group of primates uh, from the Eocene of Texas were called Omomyiforms, and these are currently known from seven genera from the Texas Eocene. And here is the cranium of one of these Omomyiforms. It's called Runia. It's about 38 million years old, and it's known only from the Sierra Vieja of western Presidio County. Now, Runia weighed about 1,500 grams, and we can tell from the anatomy of its teeth that its diet was primarily fruit. We can also surmise that Runia was most closely related to the living group of primates that includes tarsiers, monkeys, apes, and humans, the haplorine primates. Now, the other group of primates uh, known from the Texas Eocene were called adapiforms, and there are currently only two genera of adapiforms known from Texas. And the one that I have a cast of here is called Margarita. Margarita is about 39 million years old. Uh, it weighed about 800 grams, a little less than a kilo. Uh, and it was probably mainly a, a leaf eater. And some of the closest living relatives of Margarita are actually the lemurs of Madagascar and the bush babies of mainland Africa. Now, like Runia, Margarita is a Texas native. Fossils of Margarita have only ever been found in Presidio and Brewster counties. And in fact, of the nine genera of Eocene Texas primates, four are found nowhere else in the world. So the goal of my research is to find and interpret more fossils so that I can better understand the evolutionary relationships, the ecology, and the adaptations of these early Texas primates.